Life is crazy. I am turning 24 in three days. But I think when you see this video, it'll actually be like three days in the past. I'm turning 24 on the 24th. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And it's kind of making me go into mad reflection mode. What am I doing with my life? The biggest thing that holds me back is the need for protection, the avoidance of vulnerability. Protection. Hunger game. No, not Hunger Games. Protecting yourself. I have an idea of when this started and how long and how it has evolved. I know that when I was like super young, before I was like super cognizant, I'm like, what's going on? And you're like super in the moment because that's like all you know to do with your kid brain. I was such a naturally happy person. I am super expressive, super excitable, super joyful. People say I have contagious energy, a contagious smile, and I love that. I'm like, I am so glad that is a character trait of mine because it's something that I have fallen in love with. It is so cool to experience the world deeply. Here's the thing, folks. In elementary, I learned that there was something different about me, and whether it was that I was gay or that I think more specifically is that I was more feminine, that I was more expressive, that I didn't perform gender in the way I saw my peers doing that. Oh, my crush just sexed me. I have a crush right now. Um, I was just like, when I got excited, I got so excited. And that was an opportunity to be attacked by the boys and people who thought I was outside the norm. So sad and so cruel. And now anytime I see people doing that, I just want to like, you know, rip their heads off. But you know, you can't do that because you know, they're kids. Instead, you just have to shame them. I'm kidding. I'm gonna be a great parent. I learned at a very young age that I needed to protect myself, that I needed to wrap myself in bubble wrap. And the way to do that was to win people over. And I know that this is super common for a lot of queer folks that I had to be really funny, that I had to win people over with my kindness and with laughs. And if I could do that, I could get away with being gay. I could get away with being feminine. I could get away with being a little different than the other guys. Elementary school though sucked and we could, I have so many more videos I could talk about elementary school. I made it through, came junior high, that world totally changes. I was introduced to so many new people and in that there's more opportunities for bullying. And within a month I dropped out because it was so awful. And I went to a homeschooling network, which was great. And if it hadn't been for that homeschooling service, also just to be clear, a homeschooling network is like I was homeschooled, but I went to like these portables where I was with other homeschoolers and we take class together. So it was more like alternative education than it was like a true homeschooling experience because I went to school like every day. It really was an opportunity for me to fall in love with myself again and feel confident in that. And then I decided to go to high school because my parents didn't want to drive me out to homeschooling network. And in high school, I was in for a shit show. People are so mean in high school. And I had been in public school education for a while. So I was just like, woo! I was like so excited to be me and I got bullied hard that first month and it did not take very long for me to realize that I could not be expressive anymore. I could not be myself. And so I, again, I had to go back into protection mode and go back into how do I not get hurt? This went on through high school and it went on through college and honestly, Ever since what is 2009, I've experienced incredible amounts of depression and self-hatred and self-doubt, suicidal thoughts. It has been a shit show to say the least. And it all comes back to this idea of needing to protect myself. When I was breaking up with my boyfriend about two years ago now, I developed this concept with my counselor about being in my own boat. And what this idea is that, not, not for my crush this time, <laughs> the world is happening around me and no matter what it is, I still get to be in my own boat. I am done trying to hook it up to other people's boats to give me protection, to make me feel like I am worthwhile. I want to give myself the same freedom and love that I give others. And I've developed it even further to this idea of like building my own island. You know how you're constantly waiting for like, once I get that job or that promotion or enough followers or get that partner, you know, that boyfriend, that girlfriend, I get to a particular place in life, everything is going to be great. Everything's gonna be good. Everything be changed like in a matter of seconds and it's gonna be amazing. And that is so far from the truth. And what I'm waiting for is me. I am waiting for me to love myself, which literally happens in an instant. But I'd never give myself the permission to build my own fucking island because no one, no matter how much people love me and tell me to love myself, actually makes me love myself. It's this leap of faith, this initiative that I have to take on my own. I love Charlie and I want you to love you so flipping much. Build your own island and have that island be whatever you want it to be. Perform yourself in the way you want to be. Create the personality that you fall in love with. Follow your passions 
regardless of what the world is telling you to. I keep getting lost and then going back to like, oh wait, Charlie, you knew this the whole time. You knew this is what you wanted to do. You knew this was important to you. I, I lose contact with my intuition with my heart, with my gut, and I now have to return to my own island. As I am turning 24 and may feel disappointment in my early 20s as not having gotten done everything I dreamed of getting done at this age. I have more life ahead of me to fall madly in love with myself and build my own island, be in my own boat, and live my life the way I see fit. I love you guys so flipping much. Thank you for being in this amazing, weird, crazy world with me. It would mean the world to me if you'd give it a huge thumbs up, click the like button, click subscribe, and the next two subscribe if you click the bell. It's gonna turn on your notifications, so anytime I post a video, you're gonna get notified. And it's gonna be like, Charlie posted a video, and you're gonna be like, hallelujah, my day just got that much better. You're, you're amazing, you're awesome, you're kick-ass, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!